and Ringitra, a park where tradition and nature meet. Reverence for the ancestors and the recognition of sacred sites have served to protect natural resources through the centuries. In the Namuli Valley, Rakuto Michel, a village elder, practices Fumba, asking for the blessing of the ancestors. The park is considered an ancestral gift, and the villagers see themselves as its guardian. But it's not always been like that. In 1927, it became a reserve. We were not allowed to go in. Those living around here who were caught were punished. And, to be quite frank, it wasn't just one or two. In 1993, the Malagasy Park Authority's ANGAP mandated WWF to manage the park and to build capacity for a handover in June 2005. For WWF, given the history of exclusion, it was essential to gain the trust of the locals and include them in the decision-making process. Our management approach is to ensure that the economic benefits of the park are shared amongst the local people. This is naturally a strong argument in encouraging local participation in the protection of existing natural resources. What is crucial is to understand the local customs, which is all about observing, listening and learning. The first priority for WWF was to help improve food security. This included allowing the cattle into the rich pastures of the park and regulating water for rice cultivation. Then came the diversification of production. Fruit trees were planted, carp raised in the ponds and lessons given in beekeeping, which meant people didn't need to go into the park to gather honey. Before, we had no motivation. Now, we have become more aware of the range of produce we can grow, and our production rates have gone up. Improvements to the road from the valley to the main town of Ambalavau helped to open up markets for produce. The road also brought in tourists, keen to discover a natural treasure that had been hidden from the world for more than 30 years. Since ecotourism took off three years ago, the number of tourists has risen from a few hundred to several thousand. At the WWF hostel, every visitor is told about the importance of not only respecting the environment, but also local taboos. Ecotourism, if properly managed, can bring significant economic benefits. Traditional crafts of basket making and silk weaving are being reintroduced to sell to the tourists. Ecotourism is also bringing about social change. Parents are keeping their children in school longer so that they can have the option to become park guides. But the main benefit is that half of the park entry fees fund projects decided by the local community. Renovating the hospital is a priority. This woman is giving birth to her son in the hospital's only bed. Soon work will begin on building a new wing with five more. The present is secure. The question now is how to build a future that goes beyond these solid foundations. For some time now, we have been working on the transfer with ANGAP. I hope that it's going to go smoothly, both technically and also for the staff. Bernardin will continue as the park director with ANGAP, as will his staff. He'll work closely with a park committee responsible for its future. Rakuto Michel is a member and has his doubts. I have mixed emotions about ANGAP taking over. I don't know the ins and outs of it, 
But the authorities were very strict in the past, and my fear is that they are not going to be as understanding as WWF in the future. Let's hope they are not going to return to the old ways and put us into jail for venturing into the park. The next few years are crucial for the development of the park and the local community. Seems to me that it's an, that one day WWF is here and the next day WWF is not here. WWF hopes to keep involved from a distance and whether that's going to really work, I'm not sure. I hope that those that are going to be looking after this project when WWF has done its part of the history of this wonderful and gut-wrenchingly beautiful place. I hope it's just going to remember to pass on the words of another of the local proverbs that the rear hoof of the zebu always follows the front hoof. I hope that the front hoof continues to blaze a trail that we really do know how to follow. <laughs>